Well, right here we see Hannafin's, and it's uh, very difficult to see with that glare, but I think you can see the vibrant colors of another production by Cam, uh, Finest Kind Signs. A uh, great example of identity uh, baked into a sign. So we're going to cruise through and see if we can find uh, Mr. Hannafin, uh, probably beer in hand, as well as Cam, to discuss and showcase some of the work here. Here we go. Welcome to Connecticut. Guinness, nice. And you can see the Hannafin's public house sign painted here. Uh, you can see the gold leaf, the real gold leaf on the glass window as well. Here we go, Irish pubs. Some of the language you'll see in the top, very difficult to see in a pub, is uh, more indicative of uh, how Cam bakes into uh, any project. Some personalization as well. Hey guys, what's going on? We're putting you guys on the internet for uh, like for Cam. Yeah, we're like Ghostbusters. That's right. <laughs> See if we can find the guys. Uh, we're looking for the proprietor of this fine yes, establishment. Can we find him? Yeah, Hidden in a corner. What's going on? Like an old piece of furniture. <laughs> All right. Now you're with the uh, famous uh, award-winning sign painter here, Cam. We are. All right. Fantastic. Cam Bortz. All right. Good. So tell me a little bit about this place. So we just witnessed some of the signage and. Uh, I met Cam first. We were uh, we were in the middle of building out, and he stopped by and uh, he showed me some of the sign work. And I said, definitely, we got to have one of these signs hanging outside. And it went from one of the signs hanging outside to uh, a lot of the stuff inside. Obviously, more stuff inside now than ever there was outside. He did the gold leaf on the front window. He did the uh, beautiful mirror behind the bar. He did the. Uh, Put all the signings up on the beams, and he did the uh, writing behind you there. So he also did the on Gorta Moor outside here, which is the Great Hunger. He did that one too. So okay. all of the signage and uh, artwork was uh, Cam. How, how did you figure out how to get engaged with Cam? I mean, did you guys just? Uh... We sat down together. We 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 actually broke bread. It wasn't bread. It was more of uh, it was more of beer. Yeah, good. So we had a couple of beers together. We talked and we spoke, and uh, I told him what I was thinking, what I was looking for, and we went from there. All right, great. So, um, what's the story, Cam? How do you like working with this cat? Well, Dearman was a Dearman was a diamond in the rough in a way because uh, what happened in walking in here was that he basically gave me a free hand to do whatever I wanted. He gave me, you know, which is which is all any sign man really wants to have when they come into a place like this is to uh, to say, look, develop de develop my image, develop uh, the logo, develop uh, how I should look because, you know, the image is everything. The image is what this place is. It's all about the image. It's all about bringing his personality into it and creating the, uh, the whole feel of the place. Sounds like more like an extreme makeover project, something I'd see on Sunday evenings or something well, on NBC. it would NBC. have been a makeover if it had ABC ever been made up once, but it was, it was, <laughs> okay, it was, right. it was really a raw canvas at this point. All right. In, the terms, in terms of, uh, of Hannafin's, you know, this had, this had not existed before. This was not a, an existing business that we're making over. This was a raw canvas, and we started from the beginning. Uh, with uh, we started off with the with the ba with the essential design, which is on the sign out front. We carried that over into the into the uh, glass on the, uh, on the at the front window, and we modified it for the for the uh, mirror behind the bar. And uh, then we came in and did some fun things, such as the uh, so, yes. the, the lettering the lettering up on the beams. Mm -hmm. And uh, the uh, Saint Patrick. Yeah, Saint. Yes, yes. The uh, the the, mur the uh, Irish mural of uh, of Saint Patrick and the uh, and the dragon. Unlike any other mural, this mural is uh, special because people look at it, and the more they drink, the more they get into it. You know, okay. We, we, <laughs> okay. We should probably okay. walk out there and uh, and uh, take a. Uh, yeah. Why don't we take a look at it? Cam, take us over. Yeah. Take a look. Yeah. Yep. Well, this was a 
fascinating mural. I won't claim to have to have designed it. This was from a book, but uh, we looked at it and said, you know, this has really got to be on the wall here. It's, uh, I don't know what the official interpretation is, but I see St. Patrick looking to struggling with the dragon and looking to help from the Lamb of God. That's great. Uh, what, what else could there be there? That's great. And it's, it's marvelous stuff. Well, Cam, it's been uh, ver it's very clear to me. If you could stand right over there, that'd be great. Okay. Um, it's very clear to me that you obviously understand your your clients very well. And uh, hey, let's go back and like wrap this thing up with him as well right now. Is that fair? Thank you. All right, let's do it. Thanks, Dennis. Okay, take care.